I have a new carpet. It's so nice. I love it so much. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Meg, if you're new here, and I'm about to show you my bedroom. We're getting intimate quickly here, people. This is it. Ta-da! It's looking a little bit more bare than usual if you are a regular follower. My bedroom is my favorite place on the planet. I adore my bedroom. I have added and added more and more things to it gradually over the last four years I would say. One thing that has been needed to be changed for quite a long time is my carpet. So that is happening tomorrow and in order for that to happen I have to clear out this whole room so that we can add carpet to it. And one unfortunate thing is my bed is not like a flat pack bed nor are any of my cabinets. So I've got to heave all of these things out of this room, pull up the carpet, paint a little bit before the new carpet comes in. The new carpet's very white by the way. I will actually show you a comparison. So basically this is what we are going for. This is a sample of the new carpet. This is the old carpet. I've had this carpet for a very, very, very long time. And because of that, we've got nail polish stains because basically I lived in this room for my early teen years. So there's makeup stains, there's nail polish stains. It's just, <laughs> it has definitely seen better days and it's not exactly the most comfortable, cozy carpet. So yeah, we've got a new one. It is actually very like pale. It's nearly white to be honest, which is kind of worrying because if you guys know me, which I know you do, I often <laughs> am very clumsy and that includes spilling my coffee all over the place on a regular basis. In fact, these stains here are all from me spilling coffee from my bed. So yeah, that's currently what's happening. So yeah, that's currently what's going on with me this week. And I also have like six assignments due. So life's kind of busy, but I'm very excited to be getting this carpet done. I feel like it's gonna brighten up my room so much. My room unfortunately doesn't get like loads of light, maybe in the evenings, but that's kind of about it. It's north facing. So it, it needs all the love it can get. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna make a big difference to the room and I think it's gonna brighten it up. And I cannot wait to be able to hoover it and like notice a difference when you hoover. I love hoovering. Does anyone else love hoovering? I think it makes such a difference when you clean your room and you've hoovered it. But yeah. I'm kind of looking forward to the fact that I have to clear out my room and then bring things back in because when I'm bringing things back into it, I will really be able to tell if I actually genuinely want them in here or not. I think it'll be good for me to have like a good clear of the place and figure out what it is that I want because it was kind of verging on getting just a bit cluttered. I know I'm a maximalist, but it was verging on just getting a bit too much. So it'll be good to see what I do want to keep and what I don't and to give it a good proper clean. That's what I'm doing today. Very excited to get this changed. It's going to be white. I don't know why my mother is letting me do this bright of a carpet. My mom suggested I go for a brown carpet considering how ridiculously clumsy I am but I said no coffee in my bedroom anymore, but that's the biggest lie I've ever told in my life. I love drinking coffee on my own. <laughs> okay, cleaning time begins now.
watch it later on and I wanted to show you guys how my room is looking right now because it is very, very different to how I left you. Oh my goodness. The echo in here is so much, but yeah. This is what it's currently looking like. These are original floorboards. They're obviously very wrecked. Um, but I have a fireplace here. I really hate the color of the tiles, but I had no idea these tiles were underneath my carpet, which I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, so yeah, that's the current state of my bedroom. I, it is so bare in here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I am so super excited to get my carpet in tomorrow and get started on bringing things back into my room. I honestly think one of the best ways to like gut your room if there's things you're just kind of hanging on to and all that kind of stuff is to actually remove everything from your room because now when I go to put everything back in tomorrow, there is no way I'm gonna be bringing in unnecessary stuff that I just do not wanna be filling into my room. It's going to really make it obvious how much things I have. Taking everything out already made me notice how much stuff I have that I just do not need in here. So I'm very excited to kind of use it as a time to gut things out and just make sure that I have things that I need make me happy and if not to donate a few things and all of that good stuff. I'm staying in my brother's room tonight because he is up in college and tomorrow night we will put my bed back in. I actually kind of want to sleep in my room with just my bed in it for like three nights or so just to kind of get a feel and see what it is that I miss in my room and I really really want to bring back. I can't believe this floor is basically going to be white tomorrow. That is insane. My new carpet is in and it looks so much better than I do right now. I'm covered in paint. I haven't washed my hair in a few days and it's it's not too good, but I have a new carpet. It's so nice. I love it so much. It's so much fluffier than my last carpet as well. Like it's so comfy. This it's my first time seeing it in daylight when it's brightest in my room and it just, it looks so good. It looks phenomenal. There's dirt coming out of my fireplace. I need to clean that. But yeah, so it is currently Tuesday and I need to get finished on painting my cabinets and all that kind of stuff that have to come back in here. I did a big clear actually of all my drawers. I cleared out so many things. I'm going to show you some of the stuff because it's so funny. But yeah, new carpet. I'm very happy. It's, it probably doesn't look that much different. I actually just can't really remember, but to me, it's like very, very bright. I don't know if it looks that different on camera, but it's bright and it's soft. It also does that thing where it kind of like makes a mark when you hoover, which I'm so excited to hoover it. <laughs> but let me show you all the stuff I found in my drawers because it's so funny. Okay, so yeah, this, this is my mattress behind me right now. I'm currently in my brother's room, but this is all the stuff I have taken out. These are things I'm keeping though. I just have to clear out my actual drawers before putting everything back in. But I found some funny stuff that I want to show you guys. So let's see. First things first. I have a drawer of like keepsakes and to anybody else it wouldn't really make sense if you open this drawer. You'd kind of be like what on earth is this crap? But to me it's class. So let's go. First thing I have is this rock. Okay, it might not, it might just look like a rock and you might be like, why are you showing me a rock? But, do you see right here at the bottom? They are fossils. I think that's the word for it. But basically, it looks like a stamp, but these actually were at one time, like plants that have been squished together and formed into a rock. For all of my geography students, 
and historians, you'll know what that means. But yeah, is that not the coolest thing ever? Like, this is like millions of years old. And it's just sitting in my drawer. I think that's incredible. My dad was doing stuff on his tractor one day. And he cut this in half. And he went and picked it up. And he was like, holy crap. There are many million year old trees. And I said, yeah. So now I got them. In my drawer. Next. My dad does a crazy amount of travelling. And always has done my whole life. Up until... COVID basically he doesn't really travel that much anymore but I have so many things that he's brought me home. I have this beautiful what I think is a purse from Japan. Oh this is actually Korea. Yeah this is from Korea. It's very very beautiful. It's so stunning. It's actually too beautiful to use as a purse. I'm keeping that forever. I also have this. I don't know what country my dad got this from but you know. I have this, which I think this one is Dubai or Abu Dhabi. He brought this home or somebody gifted it to him to give to me. And there you go. My brother bought me this when he was at the Shakespeare Theatre. It is a Macbeth quote. I love Macbeth. This was my first ever purse, like big girl purse. And for some reason, I just can't let it go. This is my first phone. That was it. I'm never letting that go. That still has stuff on it. This is a silly straw my dad got me. I haven't opened it yet. This was my first pair of hair straighteners that was my auntie's who is no longer with us so I love to keep these because they remind me of her and yeah, I just, I'm never letting these go. Then, oh, I love this one. This is one my dad brought home and it is so beautiful, literally stunning obsessed yeah the list kind of goes on and all the stuff i have here that some people would look at as being like worthless but i love them all this is a baby photo of me that's me do you see the resemblance so this stuff is all going back into the drawer it's just going to go back in a bit more organized than last time because it was a mess before but Speaking of mess, I'm currently a mess, but I'm about to go meet one of my best friends for lunch and a drive. So I gotta go do that and sort myself out. But yeah, this is a keychain that says Bootylicious. This is a wooden mouse. I'm gonna go have some lunch. See you guys in a little bit. Sort out my room a bit more. Hopefully I will get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Who knows at this point? Because I have so much more to do. That's my room. I just keep walking around in my bare feet because I'm like, wow, so soft. I'm literally not used to this. good do you think I look on a scale from 1 to 10? I'm going to say a strong 11. Wow, stunning. Yeah, finished cleaning my room. I've hoovered it and it looks so good. One thing I've always wanted, not like to an extreme extent, but you know when you hoover a carpet and like you can see like the lines in a carpet and it looks like it's been hoovered? <gasps> this is my carpet now. See the way? You can like see the lines. Some people do it very aesthetically. I don't really think you can see, but yeah. My bed is all made and I can't even tell you how fluffy this looks in person. It's incredible. Carpet is all clean. I have 
The only piece of furniture I've brought back in here other than my bed is my bedside table because that's a definite. But right now I'm kind of curious about what it is I want to bring back here because I'm kind of loving how empty it is. I think this is the calmest my room has felt and a part of me kind of wants to clear my room and keep less things in it because of the fact that, you know, this is a space that I want it to be as zen as possible so as little clutter as possible is the best way to go, I think. But I'm going to sleep on it for the next few nights and decide what to do then because I think if I bring nothing back, it'll be too little. But I just need to be smart about what I bring back in here. And yeah, but right now I'm so excited to get into this bed. I have some college work to do and I'm going to shower now, but I'm very happy. It's been a crazy week. I was feeling like, ugh, kind of down today. I was feeling a bit negative and icky today, but... It has ended well. This makes me happy. I cannot wait to get back into it.